an anxious day for Cecil Adams. He's about to have a life-saving pacemaker inserted into his heart, joining over one million people worldwide who have the device implanted annually. But he's also one of a select few that have been chosen to undergo a global medical trial using the world's smallest pacemaker. <laughs> The device is one-tenth the size of a conventional pacemaker and comparable to a vitamin tablet. It's also minimally evasive and safer. Kruiske Hospital was one of the designated sites to be part of a multinational trial to implant this new Medtronic Micro Transcatheter uh, pacemaker. And basically what it is, is it's a, it's a leadless pacemaker, so it doesn't have a lead and it's miniaturized technology where the, where the device is implanted via one of the groins and it's inserted in directly into the right ventricle of the heart. Conventional pacemakers require a surgical incision below the subcutaneous tissue under the collarbone. By going through the groin, doctors can bypass all potential lead and pocket infections. By attaching the device onto the wall of the heart, all the benefits of conventional advanced pacing can be achieved and the results so far seem very encouraging. This is still part of an investigational tool, a product. So at the moment there have been about 700 pacemakers implanted worldwide and we're still waiting to, um, to hear about the medium term safety and efficacy. The short term data is very promising and once we have the medium term data and it shows to be effective and safe, um, this is probably the way of the future. Well, Cecil, he's just glad that his ordeal is over and that he's got the benefits of new technology to keep him going. This wasn't painful. I was carrying on. Now the peacemakers are right for me. So, so, so right for me. But I got no complaints. I got no complaints. So far, only a handful of patients have received the miniaturized pacemaker. But more are in line to receive the benefits of the small but potentially life-saving new technology. Rudiskia Hospital has been pioneering heart surgery ever since the world's first heart transplant took place right here almost 50 years ago. It's also the only hospital on the continent where the clinical trials are being conducted. Evans Andrews, CCTV, Cape Town.